What are you doing? Well, you know how for the past year you've been promising me you'd clean out the bedroom closet? Yeah. Well, I'm keeping your promise. <laughs> Sorry, if I knew there was such a rush about it, I'd take care of it right away. What are you going to do with all this stuff? Oh, I'm going to take it down to the cellar. You don't have to do that, sweetie. I'll take it down. All right, Ralph. I'll finish up in here. All right. Hey, there. Hey there, Ralphie boy. I thought you were gonna meet me this afternoon and have lunch with me. Oh, I couldn't make it, Ralph. I'm sorry. I, I had to be down there at City Hall. I had to fill out an application so I could uh, take one of those civil service examinations for a new job. A new job? But you got a job in a sewer. I know, I know, I know. You're like a lot of people. They all say to me, you got a very good job in a sewer. You know, they think just because my job is unusual, you know, that it's glamorous and exciting. <laughs> well, it ain't true. You ask any sewer worker, all that glitters is not gold. <laughs> what kind of a job are you trying out for? Sue Inspector. <laughs> well, good luck. Good luck. I, I think I'm going to need it. And listen, when I was down there, I noticed a lot of civil service jobs open, and there was one in particular that would fit you to a T. Just right in your alley. Senior Clerk in Transit Authority. Transit Authority? Certainly. Look, I, 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 I bought an application here, see, so you can fill it out. Good pay, easy hours, steady advance, but in no time you could be boss of the whole company. Nah, they probably want a businessman. You know, a guy that can run an organization. Here. Well, you could try it, couldn't you? What's the sense of trying? I wouldn't make it. Here, open that door. I gotta take this stuff down the cellar. Wait a minute, Ralph. These go out, too. Wait a minute. What are you doing? You're not throwing out my cornet, are you? Well, why not, Ralph? You never play it anymore. It's just gathering dust. What's that got to do with it? There's a lot of tender memories attached to that cornet. My father gave it to me. I grew up with it. It's part of my youth. Oh, Ralph, you act as if I was throwing out your pool cue. I don't care, Alice. I want to keep it. Will you be sensible, Ralph? You don't play it anymore. That's you got nothing to do with it. I want to keep it. All right, Ralph. You haven't touched it in years. I want to keep it. Okay, he's right, Alice. He hasn't touched his toes in years either. He still wants to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> you do me a favor and stay out of this. A little tune there. Work out a little uh, rock and roll in there. <laughs> well, I don't know how the old lip is, but I'll take a crack at it. <laughs> Stand back, Ed. This is liable to be messy. <laughs> You're liable to be messy in about five seconds. <laughs> the neighbors. Uh, maybe this is one of those uh, high-frequency cornets that only dogs can hear. <laughs> what is a sock doing in my cornet? Must be one of the tender memories that's attached to it. <laughs> All right, now keep quiet, everybody, and I'll but play a little tune. Rip it out in there. I don't know if I still remember that song I used to play. Get the music right here. You played a cornet? No, I know. I never tried, but let's have it. Are you crazy? Gabriel, would you mind getting the clothes down to the cellar? I'd like to set the table. Do me a favor, will you, Norton? Will you take that stuff down to the cellar? I'm going to fool around with this. You're going to play that song again? Yeah. I'll be very happy to take this stuff. <laughs> Wise guy. He certainly is. You know something? I made a big mistake by not taking lessons on this thing right straight through. 
Might have been a big musician today. My own orchestra. Maybe another Harry James. Ah, that's the story of my life. I could always make great starts, but I never finished. Never finished anything. Could never hit the high note on anything I tried. You know, one time my uncle wanted to make me an architect. You know, I was very good at uh, designing things and building things. Gave me some free instruction. Then the Charleston come out. I quit architecture to take a couple of dancing lessons. Never stuck with anything. Never hit the high note. I might have been the guy that built the Empire State Building if I'd stuck at that. Come in. Excuse me. Uh, my name is Gunther. This is Mrs. Gunther. <coughs> we're, uh, we're sorry to intrude, but I wonder if we could ask a favor of you. What is it? Well, <laughs> Maybe you'll think this is silly, but... Uh... You see, we used to live in this apartment. You used to live here? Yes, many years ago. Yeah, this was our first home after we were married. How about that, Alice? They used to live here. <laughs> How nice. Well, what can we do for you? Well, I'm afraid you'll think us terribly sentimental, but this is our 40th wedding anniversary, and we wondered if we could take a look about the place. Your anniversary, huh? <laughs> How about that? You lived here 40 years ago? Oh, August, the place hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> August? August Gunther? You're not the August Gunther that makes the donuts, are you? I am. Are you that guy? <laughs> They're my favorite donuts. I eat them all the time. I'm glad you like my product, Mr. Crandon. Well, dear, have you seen enough? I suppose this place must have a lot of memories for you. Oh, yes. We were very happy here. Would you like to see the other room? May I? Of course. Is the view from the back still blocked for that laundry? Oh, no. They tore that laundry down. Now you can see the kitchen at the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I envy you, Mr. Cramden. You're young. Life and opportunity lie before you. Oh, things may look a little bit difficult now, but... When you've moved on to higher things, you look back and you realize that you enjoyed every moment of the struggle. <laughs> Say, tell me something. How did you become a success? Would you tell me? Well, gladly. One day, while well, it was in this very room, as a matter of fact, I decided that I was going to be a success. And I said, nothing is going to stand in my way. Right here in this room, huh? Yeah. Well, I knew that to be a success, a man had to have certain qualities. So I took stock of myself. I made a list of, uh, of my weaknesses and uh, my strong points. And then I concentrated on eliminating the weaknesses and building up the strong points, making them stronger. And from that moment, Mr. Cramden, I have never let an opportunity get away from me. You did that right in this room, huh? Yeah. Took stock of yourself. Yeah. Made a list of all your faults. You never made a mistake again. Well, I did make one mistake. I loaned my brother-in-law money to go into business. What kind of business was he in? The donut business. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much, my dear. And thank you, too, Mr. Gunther. You're very Harris. welcome, Mrs. Gunther. You've been very kind. Thank you. <laughs> Well, shall we go down there? Yes. I'm well, sorry. nice to have seen you. Oh, happy thanks. anniversary. Yes, happy oh, anniversary been, to you both. Much. You've been very kind to us. Yeah. Perfectly all right. Good day to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Right. Gee, aren't they a sweet couple, Ralph? Is this a private parade, or can anybody march in it? <laughs> Alice? I am going to be a success. You are? I know I said it before, but this time I really mean it. Now I know why I haven't been a success up to now. Now I know. That Mr. Gunther opened my eyes. It's my fault that I haven't been a success. My fault. But things are going to be different from here on in. Things are going to be much different. I'm going to take stock of myself. I'm going to list my mistakes and my strong points. What's happened to you? I've never seen you like this before. Hey, yeah, uh, the change has taken place already. Even you're amazed. I'm going after success. I'm not going to wait till it hits me. I'm going out and grab it. 
this application that Norton brought in. A job. A job as senior clerk. That's me. I'm going to take that job. I'm going to pass this test. And I'm going up. I'm going to work hard, and I'm going up. Up, up, up. I'm going to hit that high note, Alice. Put it right back where you found it. I want it around as a constant reminder that I gotta hit the high note. All right, Ralph, anything you say. If this cornet will make you do what you say you're gonna do, I'll wear it around my neck. Don't worry, sweetheart. This time I'm not gonna fail. Now look, I got a line down the center of the paper. On this side, I'm gonna list all my weak points, and on the right side, I'll list all my strong points. Now, for instance, what are one of my weak points? Well, you were late for work twice last week. Very good. Oversleeping. Now, what other weak point have I got besides sleeping too much? You snore. Snoring? Hey, uh, Alice? You're gonna play Mahjong, or aren't you? The Trixie and the girls are waiting there up there for you. Oh, yeah, I'm going right up, Ed. I'm sorry, Ralph, about the snoring. I was only joking. Oh, that's okay, sweetie. What are you doing in there, Alfie boy? I'm making a list of all my weak points. Oh. Is that all the paper you're gonna use? <laughs> Ordinarily, the old Ralph Cramden would have got steamed at that like, remark and probably put you out. But this is the new Ralph Cramden, and temper has no place in his nature. Now, if you want to be quiet, you can sit down. Just leave me alone. I'm hard at work. You won't even know I'm here. You're doing that, you want me to uh, polish up the old cornet? Do anything you want, just as long as you'll be quiet. All righty. Why do you uh, keep the cornet polished? <laughs> I haven't got any cornet polish. Use something else to polish it. All right, as my granddaddy used to say, there's always hope when you got water and soap. <laughs> Happy New Year! You just ought to blow like a bell now, huh? I'm sorry, I know what you're going to. Why don't you let me list down your bad points? Why should I let you list them? Because I can be more honest, it's more impersonal. A person don't look at himself like others see him. You remember Dickens? <laughs> Maybe you're right about that. All right, let's try it. Here, you list my bad points and I'll work on my good points. All right. You list the good points? 
I'll list the bad parts. All right. Oh, you're gonna get it, Norton. You're gonna get it. Pool player. <laughs> Two, rotten bowler. Three, rotten cornet player. Four, can't speak French. <laughs> Five, doesn't pay his debts. What do you mean I don't pay my debts? Just what I said, you owe me two dollars for the last month. All right, Norton. Here's your two dollars. Now scratch out, doesn't pay his debts. <laughs> I knew it would work. <laughs> all right, that's about all of that. Let me see what you want. You're not supposed to put anything stupid down like I don't speak French. This is important to me. I know it's important. I know. Let me see what you wrote down. You I haven't French. put anything down yet. You haven't, huh? Got so many good points, I don't know where to start. Yeah. I'll put down your good points. Rob Cranston's good points. Go ahead and finish. I'm finished. <laughs> You're finished? How can you finish when you were writing down my mistakes? It took you a half hour. Now it takes you five seconds. <laughs> Ralph Cramden, the sweetest guy in the world. That's, uh, that's a very nice compliment, Norton. I appreciate that. Well, now maybe you realize that I'm all for you. I'm sorry if I was a little loud with you. You see, this is pretty important to me this time, Norton. I, I don't want to fail. I want to make a success of myself. I want to hit that high note. I know that. I want you to, I want you to take the test for senior clerk in, in transit authority. I want you to pass it, because I'm, I'm going to be proud of you. I'm going to be proud of you, too, Norton. Because you're going to pass that test. And when people ask me what my best friend does for a living, I'll be proud to say that he's a sewer inspector. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, hey, wouldn't it be something there? The both of us got these jobs. You'd be the, the, the senior clerk in transit authority. I'd be the sewer inspector. Boy, I'm telling you, we'd have the city running like clockwork. You up above there running things and making things move along, and me down below there making things move yeah. along. <laughs> I got these eggs that you wanted, but I wasn't able to get the civil service newspaper. It doesn't come out until 6 o'clock. Oh, dear. Well, we've waited a week. I guess we can wait another 20 minutes. Yeah. But I'm dying to find out if Ralph and Ed passed the test for their new jobs. Oh, I know. I just chewed up my last fingernail. Well, Ralph will be sure to bring one home. Yeah. Alice, how come you wanted just those eggs? You and Ralph going out to dinner tonight? No, Ralph's going to shop for dinner on his way home from work. Ralph shopping for dinner? How come? Well, he's correcting fault number, uh, 18. Treats wife like workhorse. Oh. You know, he even washed the dishes last night. Honestly, Trixie, the new Ralph Framden's got a surprise for me every minute. Oh. Would you believe it, Trixie, this morning he insisted on making the beds before he went to work? Gee, that's wonderful. What's wonderful, he got me up at 5.30 so he could make them. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hiya, hon. Oh, hiya, Ralph. Hiya, Trix. Did you get the civil service newspaper? No, it hasn't come out yet. I'll get it right after dinner. Oh. What are you worried about? I passed the test. Hey, you look pretty sharp tonight, Trixie. Oh, I was at the beauty parlor this afternoon. Yeah, I can tell. He did a good diet job on your hair. <clears throat> Looks real natural. Yeah. I'll see you later, Alice. All right, Trix. What's the matter with her? 
It's nothing, Ralph. She's just not used to your compliments. You know, I've been finding that out all day. That's my new technique, you know. I compliment everybody I meet. That's to enhance the value of my good point. You know, the sweetest guy in the world. Oh, by the way, I corrected another fault today. You did? Which one? Number 22. Uh, let's see. Argues too much. For instance, I was down at Depot, and Joe Cassidy is talking to a bunch of the guys. So he says, the population of New York City is 9 million people. Well, I know that it's 7 million people. But did I argue with him? No. Instead, I just looked him right in the face, and I said, oh, yeah. And I walked away from him. <laughs> You should see how foolish he looks standing there. Ralph, there are nine million people in New York. Are you crazy or something? That... Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's that for? For being so sweet and for trying so hard. I'm proud of you, Ralph. Thank you, sweetheart. Glad you're proud of me because I'm going to be a success, honey. I'm going to make it this time. I know you are. I certainly hope you pass that test, Ralph, and I hope Norton passes his, too. Well, I, I'm not worried about me passing it, but I'm not too sure of Norton. <laughs> not if he's going to answer all the questions like he told me he answered one of the questions they gave him. Well, what do you mean? Well, it was one of those questions where you have a choice of what you want to answer, you know. It said, if, uh, <clears throat> if you were heating your own home and oil was 12 cents a gallon and it went up 7%, and coal at the same time was $14 a ton, and that went up 9%, well, what would you do? What do you think Norton says? Pack up and move to Florida. <laughs> I'm going in and wash up. I'll be out. All right, Ralph. I'll get the table ready. <coughs> oh, hi, Ed. Uh, oh. oh, you got the paper. Yeah. Read it and weep. Ed. You didn't pass the test for sewer, Inspector. No, I washed out. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Ed. But what about Ralph? <laughs> what about Ralph? Uh, that's a silly question. Think I look this sad just for myself alone, you think? <laughs> oh, Ed, this is terrible. Hiya, Norton. What's the matter with you two? What do you got behind your back? I didn't pass the test, huh? Failed again? Well, I... Ralph, I guess you and me is just a... couple of hangnails on the fickle finger of fate. <laughs> Ralph. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, Alice. I know how you feel. You know how I feel. Boy, what a mox I am. I'm gonna make good. I'm gonna list all my weak points, and I'm gonna list all my strong points. I'm gonna be a success. Not gonna be a failure anymore. <laughs> Boy, that's a laugh. No, it's not a laugh. The new Ralph Cramden is a wonderful man. And what he's done in the past few weeks, Ralph, isn't foolish and it isn't a lot of malarkey. And I'm not gonna let you tear him down just because you had one disappointment. Don't you see, Ralph, you can't win the very first time. You gotta keep trying and trying. So you didn't pass the test the first time. There's always next year and the year after. I like the new Ralph Cramden, and I'm not gonna let you give up. And if the old Ralph Cramden ever shows his face around here again, I am going to hit him right on top of the head with this cornet. You know something? I did hit that high note once. The day I married you. Piece of it, Alice. <laughs>